In this video, Bravo Monster, it's a 172nd scale, so super small, little RC car. Super small, desktop capable, kind of RC fun for under $100. Meh, let's see how good it does. Yep, a remote control. I think this is the car itself in this little box. Uh, looks like instructions, a Lego piece, and some stickers. Look at that, so we can customize it up a little bit. Way back here in the bottom of the box, oh, some AA batteries, USB-C charging cable, and a little uh, pair of tweezers, along with a uh, Phillips screwdriver on the controller here it's actually kind of nice it has all of the instructions where it needs a couple batteries and there they are uh how to operate it there's different modes that you can do a happy mode and a monster mode um so how do you trigger those what the different control buttons are here and uh some mixing sure if you need to to bind it to the, con the vehicle that's all just kind of written right there on the cardboard that's holding the controller that's pretty sweet. So let's see as we pull this off. There you go. Small little controller, but that fits in the hands. Joystick like, I mean, a video game kind of controller. You can see that these are un one direction though, up and down. This is side to side. There's no other access there that you can do. It looks like we're going to need that screwdriver in order to get the batteries in. We'll tackle that here in just a minute. We want to see this right here. So this should be the car itself. Literally the size of like Hot Wheels, Matchbox. I mean, look at that. That is a small little car. So if they claim this thing is full RC, I will be really interested to see. Is it proportional throttle? Is it proportional steering? Um, yeah, well, there's only one way to find out. We have a little USB-C charging uh, port here. That's where you charge it up. So while we look at some of this other stuff, I'm gonna plug it in, make sure that it's fully charged. As I plug it in, a little white light comes on right here. That is telling you that it's charged or charging. When that light goes out, it means it's fully charged. Here we're gonna put some of these stickers on. They actually provide a little card that tells you where they suggest some of the stickers may go. And, uh, but you know, hey, free field, make it, customize it, make it your own, have fun with it. Uh, but it will make it look a little bit better with the stickers on. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Look at that. And then the reason why this is here is because this top piece will come off. And then this will actually click in. And then you can actually use it uh, with your common building bricks. Put a figure up there. Build something else off of it. I think that could actually be kind of fun. You could build like a whole exoskeleton and then have a demolition derby and see which one falls off first or something like that. I think that could be a blast. We'll put the uh, standard one back up there for now. But, yeah, I think it's time for us to get in and see. This has been charged up. I think it's time to fire it up and see how it does. So we're going to turn on the controller here. Looks like we have some blue lights there. Turn this on here. We are flashing. Looks like we might need to go through the binding instructions. So with both the controller and the car on, all I did was take a small little Allen wrench and there's a button right back here, the bind button. Hit it once, fire it up like a champ. Now we have forward and reverse, we have steering, and if you look, oh look at this. The steering is proportional, so that's good, and... So is the throttle, oh that's awesome. I like it when you're going forward, solid green light, backward, we have backup light. We have a little light coming on on the top here. We have steering. Check that little thing out. It's a legit RC car. It fits in the palm of your hand. Ha! I've never had a car that actually drove on the workbench. Like, it's legit. It is an actual legitimate RC car. Oh, it almost almost get it to do a donut <laughs> oh that's funny we could set up a little course we can have a race it's legitimately fun for the size of the space 
And now this is all in normal mode, which they refer to as happy mode. But there is such a thing as monster mode. So what we should be able to do here is turn this off, throttle up. Oh, and it took off on me. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That is noticeably faster. <laughs> All right, monster mode gives it a ton of power. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Definitely more monster mode if you want to go wild, have a bigger space. Because, yeah, it is, you can't even use full throttle without it wanting to spin out here on my workbench. Much faster. That's like. This is all like half throttle when it comes to my uh, workbench and it's still fast. That is fun. So in the monster mode, let's see how good it does on a bigger surface. Oh, <laughs> it still has so much power. Ah! It still has so much power that even in a bigger space like this, once you hit full throttle, it just wants to spin out. That, there you go, that's full throttle. That thing is flying! That thing is absolutely fine. <laughs> the world is small and full of bumps. So here, if we turn it off, we put it back into happy mode. Wow, that feels so much slower now. So if you're going to have a big space like this, you probably want it in monster mode. But this could still be good. They say that happy mode has dramatically better battery life. Well, yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Let's check that out. I think I'm going to have to get some more of these. I'm going to have to get and make a couple different colors. Get a few of these. The boys and I can race them around in the house. Make some kind of challenges. That's pretty fun. So the car's really fun. It's got some lights, it's got some gimmicks, it's got the two speeds, you can put the Lego thing on the top. That's pretty fun, actually. Um, so who is this for at the end of the day? I think it's for some folks, definitely smaller, indoor, like you cannot take this thing outside. Driveways, obviously grass is laughable. Driveways, I think, would be maybe laughable depending on what kind of driveway it is so you're talking indoor garage smooth floor inside your house something along those lines I think of ability to get a couple of these and race them against someone else would be really fun uh, so I think it's for someone who's looking for something like that indoor fun simple rechargeable so you don't have to worry about a bunch of batteries and things like that so that's all good as well my only slight nitpicky thing here is its list price is like a hundred dollars 99.99 it'd be really awesome for something like this if that price could be just a little bit down when i looked at this thing it actually did have a coupon on it so that does take at least 10 bucks off of it something along those lines so i think that is really really good you get it you get a couple of them and you can have a real good real fun blast with this I love the fact that they made it proportional throttle and steering. If that, they didn't have that, it would have been a no-go from the start. It would have been basically undrivable. I've had bigger vehicles coming in at roughly the same price point that have been non-proportional and it's this drives so much better than them. It's so much nicer. So really good kudos to Bravo Monster for putting out something that is truly a quality RC at that scale. Now, if you are interested in getting one of these, I will have a link to it down in the video description. If you have any comments or questions about the testing that I did with it and everything like that, leave them in the video comments themselves. But if you don't think that this is the vehicle for you, if it's a little bit too small, things like that, I have a whole playlist that'll pop up over here to your right of my different vehicle reviews. Go over there, check them out. We'll see you in one of those videos. Thank you and goodbye.